This is like a fucking tour of the year. It's clearly snowing outside, so we are going to take a moment now to show off the yurt. So this, this particular yurt is about four miles from Creed, Colorado, and we're just about 100 feet from a 2,000 foot cliff drop, part of the San Juan mountain range where this yurt is. First, when you walk in the door, we've got our sleeping bag set up. So we've got these mummy bags. It's called a mummy bag? Oh my God. Yes, uh, because this goes like this. There's a latch inside. <laughs> You can pull this super f***ing tight. <laughs> and then you give birth to yourself in the morning. <laughs> oh, a beautiful butterfly! <laughs> this yurt is about 10,500 feet at elevation. There's some mountains across that are about 14,000 feet, so we're pretty pretty high up here. This is how we stay warm. So we chop some, chop some firewood today so that we have enough. <laughs> <laughs> this would happen. This could chop your skull in like half. Oh uh, so this is the kitchen area. As you can see, this is boiling. Oh, holy sh**, that is hot. We have had to basically put a bunch of snow in these pots and boil the snow for our source of water because as you can see, when you come to the magical kitchen, Looks just like any other kitchen, except for there are no faucets because there is no running water here. We are in the mountains, in the middle of nowhere. Right over here, we've got a macaroni and cheese freeze-dried food. It's cooking right now. You basically put boiling water in this, let it sit for a few minutes, and then you have uh, food. There's also a fridge here. It's run off of gas, which is really interesting. I had to light the pilot light last night. But we've got all our food here that we brought up in our massive 65 liter hiking bags. This year it has two uh, rooms connected by this hallway here. So we can go take a look over there. So when you cross the hallway, you will enter the bathroom, which is an entire room to itself. And there's a great reason why. This is a compost toilet. <laughs> One scoop of the peat moss, you put it in there and then you take your fun dump. The hand sanitizer has run out. So that is a major problem for sanitary reasons. We also have a lovely shower and, um, and, and sink area. So this hot water tank is what you can put over and, and use the <clears throat> with the shower. Hot man. Hot man. Somebody told us that the hot man, you have to be very careful with it because if you do something incorrectly, it can actually explode. So we have remained dirty and not showered yet. Uh. Yurt tour. 